want to thank you again and Wallace for having me at your home in the Bois de Boulogne. It's a rare thing that fate should allow a former king and a king in waiting to meet. To tell the truth, it opened my eyes to a few things. To the nature of kingship, the nature of love, and all the difficulties that go with both. I'm sure you know that the family would have preferred me not to visit you. Afraid perhaps I might recognize myself in you, sympathize with you. Well, let me confess that I do recognize myself in you. Yes. Your progressiveness and flair, your individuality and imagination. What a king you would have made in a kinder world. What a king we were denied. It makes me so sad to see you living in exile when all you did was take a stand for principle and love one woman completely. You were cruelly denied your right to reign alongside the woman that you wanted by your side. But I give you my word, I will not be denied what you have been denied. The crown is not a static thing, resting forever on one head. It is moving, alive, divine. The changing face of changing times. And if, God willing, it has been ordained that I should wear it, then I shall do so on my own terms. And hopefully, make you proud. <laughs>